Hi, my name's Jay from Road Manager. Welcome to today's training video. Today, we'll be going through section 2.1 in your Road Manager user guide if you'd like to follow along. The Road Manager user guide, again, can be downloaded. The user guide can be downloaded from roadmanager.com by simply going to the training section, downloading, and you will find the full Road Manager user guide here. To create a new plan, Road Manager has made it easy. When you sign up to Road Manager, your default setting is to actually, once you've logged into your account, to be taken to a new plan setting, as you can see here. This can actually be changed by going to the three line icon or the burger icon in the top left corner, account, and you can change that to take you straight to the My Plans screen if you prefer. Now we're gonna take you through some of the features of this screen here. To go to your plans, you can select this button right here, in the top left corner. This will take you back to your plans. You can use the navigation items again to take you back as well. You can add a new plan in the new tab. You can use this little edit button. The edit button will allow you to edit the properties of your new plan that has been created for you. Also on this screen, you can search for plans in your directory. As you can see there, the sample plans have come up by simply searching for them. On the right hand side here, you can see your layer box. This has all your different ones ranging from text, dimensions, symbols, lines, and you can even use the plus button to add custom layers. You can lock your layers, you can delete, you can bring forward, and you can change these up and down as you please. We'll go through this in detail in a later video. This is your menu toolbar item. Using this menu toolbar is a number of different ways in which you can interact with your cursor. The select button, this simply means that you can select your icons that may have been placed. This will be your standard to be able to click and move around. You can also use this select box, to allow you to select multiple items. You can have the option to then flip the items horizontally, vertically. You can rotate, you can get the coordinates, and you can undo and redo any changes that you may have made as long with deleting any items you might have placed. You can also use the search button. This is one of the very handy features in the Road Manager software, the ability to search. You can very easily see here, you can see it is powered by Google. Let's quickly search for Sydney Cricket Ground. And you can see how quickly that can start using your Google Maps to create your plans. Very simple and easy to use. Continuing going through here on our left-hand side as well, you've got your filters your signs, your road layout. So starting from the left-hand side here, this is your road layout. Everything from roads, from pavement to line work to markings. Going across here, we have our traffic control signs. As a reminder as well, this will default to your setting of where you are. So if we were to go to, say for example, Los Angeles, you can see on the left-hand side here, those menu sign, these traffic control signs have updated to the locale. Continuing along, you've got then your barrier systems, your delineators, your equipment, infrastructure. You can then also got some standard drawing tools in your markup options. Again, all these will go into detail later on in later videos in the series. Keep an eye out. You can also filter and search for signs, which is a very handy feature. As you can see there, I can just search road, or if I was to look for a certain sign, I could search traffic controller. You can see there, you can easily find a number of different items for you that will come up with your searches. Once you've selected any items in this box here, you will be presented with another object box here, which does give you the ability to change the properties of your item before placing them. This could include size, rotation, color. Once you've then selected your details for your signs, you can then start placing them. You can see you can change the sizing, rotation, as well as other things such as show the sign code, gray it out, as well as increase font sizes for those that may have wordings on them. That takes us through the basics of creating a plan and some of the menu items that you'll see on your screen when you are creating trying to create a plan. These are gonna be pretty intuitive and it just does take some time to get through the software. However, if you do have any questions on the Road Manager software, as always, please feel free to reach out to us at info at roadmanager.com or let us know in the comments section below. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the next training video.